All right, everybody, so we're gonna get into tonight's routine. I'm gonna walk you through how I prime the body. Uh, typically, I take the dog, she loves it, on a little quick run walk uh, for about a mile. Then we come back and we prime the body with some stick movements. I'll uh, include the video. Um, I think you'll get a little something out of it. You can use a broomstick or PVC pipe if you don't have an actual ECT stick. Uh, and then we're gonna get straight into the routine. Uh, look forward to your feedback. Have a good one. All right, so here we're doing some push pulls. You can do five to 10 reps. And then we're going to get into um, what we call like stir the pot. So you're just a twisting motion. And then we're gonna get into some shoulder dislocation to like a hamstring stretch. Five to 10 reps. Waking the body up. And now we're doing a paddle board. These are waking the shoulders up, waking up the core, waking up your hips. And this is just a twisting motion, cyclone, whatever you want to call it. Doing over the rainbow. And then around the world. You want to go each direction. You can see I'm really waking up my lower back and hips and shoulders because of the exercises we're getting ready to do. This is gonna force blood flow and negate injury. Now we're just going into like a modified lunge. We're using the stick for some stability and we're just pulling it back and then we're pushing it forward and pushing our knee well past our toe and rotating our hips so it's a good uh, hip flexor stretch. good dynamic movement. You always want to start off any routine by priming the body. You can also use bands for this type of stuff. Uh, you don't want to do static stretching. So you want to do dynamic moves when you're getting in or before doing any type of workout. Now we're just doing a, a squat. So we're using the stick to balance ourselves. And we're, as we squat down, we're getting nice form. All right, so check it out. Here we go. We're going to start off the triple nickel. We're using a trap bar or a hex bar, and uh, we've got some serious weight on here for a little guy like me. Uh, and the goal is to do uh, five reps of each one of these exercises. We're gonna work them in a circuit because we're a little short on time, but we're going to modify that circuit a little bit by taking a little bit of breaks. So it's not like your traditional high intensity training. We're gonna do an exercise, we're gonna wait about 30 seconds, let our heart rate slow down, reset everything, and then we're gonna to move to the next exercise. And uh, there's five different exercises that we're going to complete in the circuit. And the goal is to do five sets of each of these. So uh, for today's video, what I'm gonna do is work through each one of the exercises just one time. And then obviously, if you guys wanna follow along, you can follow along with me through this first set, and then you're just going to do four more sets after that. After we complete this, then we'll go into the uh, triple threat. So this is the ECT uh, triple nickel and start off with some type of hex bar um, deadlift or a regular deadlift or some type of squat. So large compound movements and five uh, reps. All right. We add a little bit of chalk for some good gription. Nice form, good, nice and slow. Uh, slow down and make sure you're you got good form. You're not looking to blow out your back. Breathe in, hold it, explode up. All right, now we're gonna let. Uh, body's reset. We're going to rest. Uh, I don't have a shit ton of weight here, so I'm going to use dumbbells and I'm going to get into a flat bench. So I typically, depending on what type of shape you're in, I usually wait between 30 seconds to a minute in between each exercise. And remember, the reason why you're waiting in between, reset the body, slow that heart rate down, reset the ATP. Um, I'm all about circuit training, but there's a time and place for that. When you're lifting heavy like this, it's 
it's extremely important that you're resting in between sets or exercises. Typically with these triple nickels, when I put them together, there's a bunch of different combinations. But you're working large compound movements, doing five sets, like I said, five reps. So the idea is to go heavy. The reason why you're going heavy is you're trying to stimulate and recruit and do as much damage to the muscle tissue so that when it recovers, you're ripping more tissue, it's gonna recover and you will get bigger faster. So in our F3A program in phase one, that's what we do is we find and recruit new muscle. Goes down back to the basics, hits those compound lifts, super easy, it's three days a week, uh, a lot of rest in between, and uh, a lot of rest throughout the week. And the reason why is because rest is equally as important, especially in phase one. And if you're a client of mine, you also uh, pick up on some nutrition tips to really find homeostasis and maybe even work in a little bit of a surplus, commonly known as a bolt cycle. So that's what we do in phase one during our F3A program, which stands for find, fix, finish, uh, evaluate, and analyze. All right, so next one is I'm going to do is a modified pull up. I just like this one because it works a little bit of bias as well. So you mount the bar, you're just gonna let yourself hang and then explode up. training heart rate zone or even a little bit lower so typically for me when I'm doing heavy circuits like this my heart rate's about uh, anywhere between 95 and 110 so just below that zone 2 zone so you're targeting a little bit of fat for fuel but uh, you're lifting weights and obviously you're pulling in a lot of carbohydrates for the fuel because um, you're getting that good glycogen pull into the muscles. All right, so the next exercise we're gonna do is we're just gonna do an Arnold press. If you don't go crazy heavy with these, I got some problems with my shoulders, and I'm pushing 51 here real soon. So the last thing I wanna do is injure myself, and uh, so I make sure I get good form. I'm not trying to get huge, I'm just trying to remain functional and uh, strong. something. For me, I like being able to not have my back against anything and use my core to stabilize myself because I'm not going really too crazy heavy with them. And then the last one is just some type of ab exercise. So typically within our ECTs, we usually like to do like a plank crunch, toes to bar, V-ups is one of our favorites. Uh, 
You can do them weighted. You don't have to do them weighted. Um, highly recommend since you're only doing five to ten reps. Uh, usually I bump it up a little bit when we're doing an app. Um, and uh, typically I do some type of weighted V up for when I'm doing the triple threat. I'll uh, show you here on the bench, but usually, typically, I do them on the floor. So, way to be up. Your question: A floor is the bottom surface of a room or vehicle. Floors vary from. Alexa, be quiet. Those are challenging for you to do weighted. You don't have to do them weighted. Uh, some people find them very difficult to do. The bottom line is you're bringing your legs and your upper body up at the same time, making the V, hence calling in them V ups. So, those are the five exercises we're choosing for the triple nickel tonight. Uh, we'll uh, clip in the um, the triple threat after we finish up. We got four more sets. I hope you're enjoying it and uh, look forward to your feedback. Hope you're getting something out of it. And you can run this, you know, a couple days out of the week. Um, but just like anything else, make sure you're, you're periodizing um, your training appropriately. So we like to incorporate a lot of different things within our F3A program, which in phase one, we're doing the fine phase. Phase two, we are working a lot on endurance. And then in phase three, we're really testing everything in our typical um, ECT, high intensity type of training. Hence uh, why our program is very performance based. And uh, you can do it at, no matter your fitness level or whatever you're looking for, you just might have to modify it a little bit. But uh, each phase lasts anywhere between eight to 12 weeks and we enjoy it. Uh, phase four, is uh, when you just chill out, relax for a couple weeks, really look at how your programming goes and what's going on um, and how you want to reset the body to go back into phase one. And uh, a lot of people are getting a lot out of this uh, F3A program. I know I do. Um, and what's great about it is it's versatile. You can do it at any gym. I'm in my home gym and it's modular. And based on whatever you, uh, you're looking for, you can modify this type of um, these types of routines for your everyday life. So extremely functional. Hope you're getting something out of it. Let us know how we can improve. Uh, hope you're enjoying the YouTube channel. Um, and like I said, uh, this platform's for you and, and we want to do nothing but help. So we look forward to your feedback. Have a good evening. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll let you know when we do the, the triple threat. Have a good one. All right, so check it out. We're getting ready to get into the triple threat. Just finished up the triple nickel. And I'm here to tell you, uh, this is going to make you very humble. So check yourself at the door before starting this, uh, this triple threat. I guarantee you're gonna get something out of it no matter your level of fitness or uh, whatever performance-based uh, program you're running. This triple threat's gonna kick your ass. It consists of three different exercises. So we're doing a deadlift of 315, wearing a weighted vest. We only got 20 pounds in the vest. Consists of a 510, uh, 20, Rep scheme, you're going to do five uh, deadlifts, which includes a push-up, then you're going to do 10 push-ups to half squats, and then you're gonna uh, finish it up with 20 standard push-ups off of uh, the bar. And um, anyway, enjoy it. I guarantee you're going to love it, and uh, we look forward to your feedback. Here we go.
Like I said, check yourself out the door. Woo-wee! Have a good evening. Look forward to your feedback. <laughs>